every single year I ask medicine residents the same question and they always get it wrong. Don't worry. When I was an intern, I got it wrong too. How do you tell that a patient is in sinus rhythm? Take a look at this EKG and tell me why you think the patient's in sinus rhythm. In order to answer this question, you need to know some basic cardiac anatomy. The sinus node, or the sinoatrial or SA node, sits on the right side of the chest in the right atrium, and the electrical current of depolarization is going to go down towards the left ventricle. Knowing that basic information, along with the fact that when the electrical current of depolarization goes towards an EKG lead, it will have a positive deflection. So the inferior leads, like lead two, should have a positive P wave. Similarly, lead AVR, which sits on the right side of the chest, is in the complete opposite direction of this electrical current of depolarization. So when it goes away from it, it should have a negative deflection. So the most accurate way to figure out if your patient is in sinus rhythm is the P wave morphology and making sure that its axis is correct. You should look for positive P waves in the inferior lead, specifically lead two is really good for this, and a negative deflection in the P wave in lead AVR. And that's how you define sinus rhythm. You can have multiple P waves before every QRS, or the P waves can just march through the QRS complexes but still be in sinus rhythm, like in complete heart block. Or or in the EKG that I showed you in the beginning, you can have a P wave before every QRS, but that morphology isn't right. In that initial EKG I showed you, it's actually an ectopic atrial rhythm, where there's some other area in the atrium that has a bunch of cells that are firing off and conducting the heart's rhythm. So although there were P waves before every QRS, that morphology wasn't right, and definitely not sinus rhythm. The more you know.